Hello, I'm Kate Beck from Eagle Ridge Elementary. Hi, and welcome to a screencast on how to create a blog, which is kind of like an online poster board. Um, your um, home screen may look a little bit different than mine once you've registered and logged in, but I'm going to go to create a blog. So somewhere on your page there should be something like that. And it's going to give you a little bit of a default background here. And uh, I'm going to get rid of what they've given me as a default. I'm going to just click on the element and then click on the pink trash can. Uh, if I could click on wall, um, I have a variety of different backgrounds here, um, 29 pages worth. Um, I'm going to just pick something. Um, some of them are a little busier than others. So you kind of want to find one. They have them by category. But you kind of want to find one that maybe works with what you're doing. So I'm going to click on Use It. Um, I might start by adding a title. So I'll click on Text. And I have some different options. Um, I've got um, sort of cute little backgrounds here. So maybe I'll pick this one. I'm going to click on Use It. And it'll pop it right into my blog. Oh popped it a little bit lower, but that's okay. And I can make it bigger by dragging on the handles. I can edit the text by clicking edit. And um, maybe I want to talk about famous artists. I can do a little bit of changing around of um, this background color, the, the color here of the um, the, uh, I guess, whatever you want to call that, the title icon. Um, I can link it if I want it to. I can edit the text. I can make it bigger. I can change the font. There's not a whole bunch of options, but there's some. Oh, I kind of like that one. Um, I can change the color of it. Um, I can give the title background a blur or shadow if I wanted to. And click OK. Um, I can add images. So I have some that I've already uploaded from my computer. Um, or if you have a web, um, a web link, you could use that. But again, generally it's better to just sort of download it to your computer and then re-upload it. Um, I have one here from Van Gogh. I could add a frame if I wanted by clicking Add Frame. And I don't know, I'm sure all these would mortify Van Gogh to no end, but um, we'll use this one. It's kind of cool. And I can drag it and move it around the way I want it. Maybe I want to add some text to that. Uh, maybe I won't make it too fancy. I'll just have just regular text. So if I click on that text button here and click use it. Then let's put it somewhere. Where did it put it? I don't see it. Let's try that again. Oh, there it is. So if I click on edit, I could say Vincent. Then go. Maybe I want to make that a little bigger. Click OK. And let's see, I think maybe we can do one more thing here. So I'm going to add sound. So I have a actually a song off of my iTunes. Um, so let's see if it'll let me do it. Um, I have it right here. I don't know if it'll take it or not. We'll see. I'm going to probably think about it for a little bit. Okay, so it's in here. I can click on it. I can add a player. Oh, some of these are kind of funny. Um, so maybe I'll click on this one. And 
add it maybe up here. I might add some text. Okay, so I added a little text here to um, tell my reader here what I want to um, wanted them to do. I just said click on the headphones to listen to a song about Van Gogh. And um, what I might do, I might move this over a little bit because I also want to add a link, um, but I want to um, have an image to link that to. So I've got a picture of Van Gogh here. And what I'm going to do then is um, add some text. Certainly does like to hide that text from me. Um, let's see where it went. Oh, that's not it. Okay. Um, so I've got a little text sticker here. And I'm going to click on edit. And then I'm going to put um, Van Bio. It's so small, I can't see what I'm doing here, but let's see. Okay. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is link it. So I have this little chain here. And I already have the URL, so I'm going to put it in there. Make that a little bigger for people to see. Going OK. Hopefully it works. Um, all right, so the next one here, I've got a, a an image here of Monet, a painting of, uh, by Monet. So I'm going to add that put a nice frame around it if I wanted to. Again, I'm sure that Monet is horrified that I'm doing this to his artwork, but um, so I can add that. Uh, well, I'm going to pause it really quickly to add some text um, and um, show you the um, video function. Okay, so hopefully I've set this up so that we're ready to add a video. Um, so it's a video I've already downloaded from, um, actually it was a YouTube video that I took a screencast of, um, but you could do discovery streaming or something like that as well. And let's see which one it's going to be willing to take. Let's try that one. Um, I can add a player if I want. And some of them are a little above the top. Um, that one's kind of funny. You can try that one. Um, click use it. And I'm going to move it down, make it the right size. Just like that. And so now what I have, if I exit out of here. is um, I can do a save or publish. I can do a preview here. And let's see if it'll let me play some of the songs in the videos. Starry, yep. starry star night. So I can pause that one. And here, I click on this. I get a somewhat cruddy, but that's the right version of my video. And hopefully this little circle here means it's a link. If I click on it, yep, sure enough, it takes me to my outside site. Um, and that is how to create a blog. Um, you know, I haven't played around a lot with data, um, but 
on this one here, but that's certainly in draw, but those are certainly ones you could explore in your own time.